Let's now do an example of the Legendre series. So let's look at finding the Fourier Legendre series for a particular function in the region negative one to one. And so in particular, let's look for the uh, Legendre series expansion for the function um, x to the one third. So f of x is equal to x to the one third. So what we do first is we write f of x as the sum over Legendre polynomials from n equal to 0 to infinity, a sub n, p sub n of x. And these a sub n coefficients can be calculated as 2n plus 1 over 2, integral from negative 1 to 1. And then we take the product of our function x to the 1 third and then the nth Legendre polynomial. And now we just need to calculate. That's really all that we need to do at this point. We just need to calculate these coefficients. Um, and it's not particularly fun. It's a little nasty, right? But you can do it term by term. So let's look at this term by term. Let's look at the L equal to 0, or the n equal to 0 term. So the 0th Legendre polynomial, if you look it up, happens to be 1. So the 0th coefficient is then just 1 half the integral from negative 1 to 1 of x to the 1 third. Uh, interestingly enough, that's just 0, right? OK, how about the Legendre polynomial coefficient for L equal to 1? So the first Legendre polynomial is x. And so now the calculation we need to do is 3 halves, negative 1 to 1, x to the 1 third times x dx, where x was our first Legendre polynomial. You do this calculation, um, and you get 3 halves times 3 sevenths x to the 7 third from negative 1 to 1. OK, that's about 1.3 if you calculate that out. You can keep doing this for L equal to 2. Remember, P2 is 1 half 3x squared minus 1. And so you can calculate A2. OK, so it has some form as well, just plugging in um, n equal to 2 and p2 into our, our general expression above. And so after some calculation here, you find that L equal to 2 is the coefficient is 0. So you're probably noticing uh, a little bit of a pattern here. Um, and so if you calculate this with a computer, uh, it makes your life a little bit easier. And you find indeed that a equal to 0, a equal to 2, a equal to 4, all the even a's are actually 0. And actually, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Um, so our function x to the 1 third is odd across the axis, uh, across the y-axis. But the p sub l's, where um, l is even, are even functions. And so certainly we shouldn't be able to expand our odd function into even functions. So it's the same thing as with a Fourier series. You expect all those to vanish. Now the a sub uh, l's where l is odd are not 0. And so when you calculate them, you get calculations looking something like this. Um, again, you can calculate that with a computer. We'll show in a second how you might do that. So what that means is you can expand x to the 1 third as 1.3 times p1 minus 0 0.5 times p3 plus 0.3 times p5, etc., etc., for all the odd Legendre polynomials. Uh, and so this expansion gives a decent approximation, depending on how far out on the series you want to go, um, to x to the 1 third, our original function, in the region uh, of negative 1 to 1 just in terms of these Legendre polynomials. So let's see how this works in Mathematica. So we define some function which calculates the coefficients. And indeed, the first coefficient is about 1.3. Uh, the third coefficient is like negative 6 over 13. Okay. Uh, we write our function as the expansion the coefficients times the Legendre polynomials. The, uh, if we go out to five Legendre polynomials, you get something that looks like this. You can also go out to 20 Legendre polynomials. 
And then if you plot that, this is what you get. So in blue is our original function. The orange is going out to 5 Legendre polynomials, and green is going out to 20. You can see as you add more and more Legendre polynomials, you get closer and closer to the original function that you wanted. So that's Legendre Fourier series.